last, uh, last few days, the uh, rebels were trying to penetrate the uh, area of uh, Al Hod province. And for uh, five days, they could not penetrate the area of Manishayab towards uh, uh, any further uh, to the south. Uh, also then in cooperation with the Shafana tribes near to Al Hod province. وبالتالي only few could penetrate it as uh, as they have uh, some sleeping cells inside some of the cities. الزاوية أو قبيلها دائما الجناح الغربي. As the western wing of the revolution and shall remain resilient and shall remain in support of brother leader Muhammad Gaddafi. ونحب نطمن كل فرصة ونبعث بوافر تحياتنا. إلى القائد الرمز الذي له أبطال وهما الدكتور المعتصم والرائد الركن خميس عمر الجداحي. <تصفيق> Dr. Mawson and uh, Major Khamis Mawson Gaddafi. For more than four months, NATO and rebels are continuously striking and uh, bombarding the area of Tawurga day and night. <laughs> Asaba is one of the resilient uh, mountains. أنقل لكم باختصار صورة ما يقع في الجبل الغربي وما يحاول الإعلام نعم أنقل لكم ما يجري في الجبل العربي وما يحاول. I would like to give you a brief what's happening in the mountains and what the media, the falsifying media is trying to say about the area of the Arab mountains. يجب أن تعلموا جميعا أن. I would like to tell you that these people who are causing this crisis in the mountains are very low level and they are very irrespectable people and they don't have any social rules in the region and they do not have any clean fights. Well, I would like to tell you that the Nepalese tribes. Uh, like La Saba, like Urat Busev, and all other resilient tribes are still standing uh, and holding up, and they are not giving up uh, in the mountains. For this month of Ramadan, I would like to congratulate you, and on your behalf, I would like to congratulate the leader, the thinker, brother uh, leader Muhammad Gaddafi. <coughs> We'd like to express the strongest condemnation of the continuous aggression by the NATO on the, all areas of uh, the Great Jamaria. Uh, but to confirm what my brother was saying from Tawarga about the thousands of people who came to Al Al Hisha area fleeing Tawarga. I would like to confirm that we, we in the middle area and in the third province, we are welcoming our brothers from the world and we will split the food between us and them we will not let them down and the uh, secretary of the third province has been doing all possible to accommodate those people who are fleeing the world they are our brothers and they will be among us and we will split everything among each other to be together in the same situation we would like to greet our uh, dignified honorable soldiers in Brega who are sleeping, waking up and uh, taking their breakfast and praying on the sounds of the bombardments of the NATO. And what we see these days is that a continuous NATO uh, aggression in full capacity against the Libyan people and its uh, resources. And we uh, ask for the benefit of who? 
or what's happening in Libya. What we know and what's happening is that the NATO is continuously bombarding the mountain to facilitate for the rats to enter. But what we want you to know is that we are resilient and the, all the tribes are fighting in total resilience. I greet, the Libyan, I greet the Libyan people for their resilience and their challenge uh, for the NATO aggression. Just uh, to give a speech, but I am here to tell you the greetings of your brothers in Badr and in Tiji who are now in a very tense fight. Our fight is not against our Libyans, Libyan brothers. Our fight is be between us and the NATO. Our, the, the, those, the pilots of the Apache, the pilots of the aircrafts who are bombing us are not Libyans. Our fight is against those who are bombing us from the air. To whom they belong, what country is it? The prisoners we have for them. Is a group of that. You on the name of Barka tribes. Barka the kidnapped and the prison. Also, uh, I call, uh, I'm talking to you on behalf of those who are standing and living with them in that area. The whole of Libya is facing uh, a, a, trip, uh, a trial uh, aggression. Triple aggression. Triple aggression. NATO information and extremists. NATO in, uh, under the pretext of protecting civilians has become an air force and a land and uh, a sea force, marine force for the advance of the rebels. Now it has become clear that the freedom of media is a joke. Information is uh, in the side of one party and it is misleading. It is executing the agenda of those who pay for it. And the rich who control and govern the world. And the third are the extremists who the West claims that it is fighting them. We see that they are again in alliance with them and they are repeating the experience and the experiment of Afghanistan. Where they have started and, and uh, financed Al-Qaeda and at the end they uh, fought against it. And now they are repeating the same experiment. Therefore, we, we are warning that the NATO is coming to the western parts of Libya and the, Lib and the Arab mountains in Libya will be by, uh, bombarding uh, the Green Mountains in Barqa. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ولا تحسبن الذين قتلوا في سبيل الله أمواتا بل أحياء عند ربهم يرزقون صدق الله العظيم تتقدم جبهة الجبهة صلى الله عليه القدير أن يتغمدهم بالمغفرة والرحمة كما تهنيكم الجبهة الأمامية لا نريد أن نطيل عليكم في البداية أيان الأمانة العامة للملتقى العام للقبائل يقول الله 
المعجورة عن بعض المناطق والمدن الليبية الشريفة من أكاديب وتل... وتل... 